Okay, so we're gonna be hunting a Kuloyaku. Uh, the important thing to know about this fight is it's super, super helpful if you have Slinger ammo. Uh, because it's it can make it drop the rock that it's holding. So there's a lot of different types. Uh, this is Red Pit. So if you look at the bottom right, you'll see it says Red Pit in that little circular spot. Uh, so that's Slinger ammo. Um, it's useful in this fight because you can shoot the Kuluaku as it's running away, or if you can uh, make it drop the rock it's holding. Um, you can use that using Slinger as well. Uh, I'm going to try to get an aerial attack. So if you roll off the ledge and then do an attack... Oh fuck, I fucked that one up. There we go. I'll do an aerial attack. You get enough aerial attacks, you can mount. And then you just look at the prompts in the top right. If it says attack, then you just spam Y. If it says move or brace, you just move up and down the monster using your control stick. Uh, now I can just tap Y to do the finisher move. Okay, so now my gauge is full, so I'm just going to use the entire thing to get a charge. Okay, and then maybe I can get a second one. Kinda greedy, but maybe it'll work. Okay, nice. Now I'm yellow. So it's gonna pick up a rock, so I'm just actually gonna shoot it out of its hand by using my slinger here. Okay, it just threw it by itself, actually. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep hitting it and see if I can get my red by either parrying. Oh, I got another rock. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot this one as well. So I keep shooting until it drops. Now it dropped. So I'm gonna look for a parry. There it is. Oh, I, I missed the final slash though. That's unlucky. So when another monster shows up, if they fight, it's a good time to just sharpen your shit. Because uh, they do a lot of damage to each other and they'll keep each other occupied. So I'm just gonna sharpen. Oh, it looks like this guy's running actually. Okay, that's fine, so I'm just gonna follow that guy. Hopefully this guy doesn't fuck me up. Uh, if you look for your rations, uh, you can... Or if you look at your item bar, if you eat rations, you'll replenish stamina, so you can just keep running. So your stamina is like the yellow bar there. You usually use it for running and dodging and... It's weapon dependent. Some some items use... A, or some weapon uses a lot more stamina than others. So I'm just gonna shoot it here. Draw aggro again. So it's gonna pick up another rock. It's kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna make it drop it again by shooting it. Come on, drop it, drop it. Nice. Okay, I have full combo here, so I'm gonna see if I can get it. Nice, now I'm red. So, okay, so at this point, if I can hit the Helmbreaker combo, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep hitting. Oh, it looks like I missed that one there. So I want to make it drop the rock again. So I'll just keep shooting it. Nice. And dodge there. Attack. Counter. Yep. Okay, nice. Attack. Counter again. Nice. Okay, so it's running. So my bar is red. It's pretty good. So I could shoot it here, but in the next area there's actually something really useful. So I'm just gonna save my slinger ammo. So there's something called environmental traps. Um, a lot of the maps have something like this. It's where you can like shoot your slinger at like some rocks to uh, to make it fall down and trap monsters and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So if you see here, this rock here, if you shoot it, it'll make it fall down, and hopefully I'll trap it. There we go. So I'll trap it, knock it over, and now you can just build up full meter here. Uh, we'll probably get one of these off since it's free. Oh, and it's dead. So that was a pretty clean run, actually. Um, so the reason I knew you could shoot the rock out of its hands, uh, if you go to Hunter Notes, every single monster you face will be in the Monster Field Guide. And if you actually look it up, it has super, super useful information. So it says, force it to drop whatever it's holding by using your slinger at the bottom right there. So if you're having issues with any monster, you can always look it up in the monster field guide. And usually it has really 
useful tips. Um, it'll also tell you where it's weak, what parts you can break, you know, what weapons it's weak to, you know, which parts, you know, which elements are good against it, and it'll even tell you what rewards you can get from it. So it's super useful if you actually start using this for monsters you have issue with. But yeah, that's uh, that's Kuliaku.